my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Lian from Resin Chan Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I'll be using Ecopor from Just For You Online UK and I'll be casting two tea light holders and a large heart shaped coaster or you can use it as a wall art from also a company just for you online UK and so this is the first one it's a lotus tea light uh, it's very cute I didn't expect to come it out that way comes with light then this one is a smaller heart tea light holder last week I did a bigger also come with a candle false candle and this is the large heart shape coaster I've seen some people fill segments by segment and comes out really colorful beautiful heart but this time I decide go with white and then give a accent just of gold. So basically first thing to do is to measure out. So here I'm starting by measuring out uh, the product. The ratio is exactly the same as for jesmamite. It's 1 to 2.5. It needs to be mixed fairly fast and definitely try to avoid lumps. Uh, I will tell you and explain you a bit later when I'll be demolding. I never noticed actually this thing but today I noticed it and I can share this observation with you. So here I didn't add today any pigment because I was going for white look to all my uh, items. I wanted to have a simple design. So I'm filling here the first heart shaped uh, tea light holder and I'm filling it till the very very top so it's full otherwise um, the candle hole is going to be exposed and not closed. And after pouring it, I give it a good tap. It helps for the air bubbles to rise and just stay on top. Because this is going to be the backside of the mold. So tap, tap, tap. It's a good idea go inside with some toothpick or mini brush just to make sure there are no air droplets. So this is the Lotus tea light holder and I should have done, I will do next time, I should have poured a little bit of echo pour inside and then go around and uh, uh, try to push it into all the uh, petals because I tell you now I'll have quite a lot of uh, holes in my petals when I demold it and here I'm just going over with some uh, stick uh, paint, uh, paintbrush just to pop the bubbles because I had quite a lot of them and the last one is this beautiful heart shape coaster it's not deep at all so make sure your work surface is leveled once again I want to say a big thank you to just for you online UK because some time ago I won a mystery box from them and all these three molds were part of that box. 
So I'm very happy to have them and try out some new molds. So there, all the molds are full. I will give last tops and bangs to try to avoid the bubbles and let them to cure about half an hour, 40 minutes, it's enough. So now the time has passed and it's the most exciting part is to demold. And I noticed that these two bigger, deeper molds were quite warm. Uh, the echo pore was really warm at this stage, but the shallow uh, coaster mold was cold. Right, wish me good luck not to break it. I'm going in, I'm starting to demold it. It is a bit of awkward shape and I am trying to be very, very careful not to break some part off. And apparently this mold is in two pieces that I didn't even notice that. So, take this one off and there we have it. My first tea light holder is out. So, I just remove the excess as right now at the moment in the beginning uh, the material is still soft and easy to remove so I suggest to do sanding now before the material cures more and it's gonna be just more harder work for you so on to the next one and this is nice silicone is very soft and it comes out easily without any problems. And yes, it's very nice, but as you can see, I mentioned before, it's a lot of holes in the petals. And the last one, I turn around because that's easier way to do it and remove the mold from beautiful heart coaster. And as I mentioned before about the lumps, uh, you can see on the coaster there are like spots and those are the lumps. So in future I will definitely try to avoid because it is a not a pretty sight. And here I'm doing a bit of sanding. To make sure everything is smooth and now it's time to add some gold embellishments how I mentioned before and today I had a idea that I could mix some mica powder with isopropyl alcohol and make kind of pen-like gel, kind of DIY paste and put it in the bottle and I can squirt in my heart coaster. But listen me carefully, do not do it because this, it doesn't work. I'm not sure where I got this idea from, but it's absolutely waste of time and um, the once the isopropyl alcohol gonna evaporate, uh, the mica pigment is gonna come off. So this is my lesson and my lesson to you as well. Do not do it. And so here I am just going inside these little channels and putting down my mixture unaware that it's just gonna be smudging later any everywhere 
and finishing edges as well and now I'm moving on to my Lotus tea light holder I wasn't sure how to embellish it so I started in the middle after I wanted to do a little bit more and it was one of them days when I in the end did everything but then I noticed that the mixture didn't stay on the surface so I just wiped it off all and in the end you can see that it's kind of goldish rusty gold looking uh, holder anyway lesson learned never ever again I call it epic fail so moving on to the last one and with this one I decide just go over the edge and add the gold line there and I like it because I, it's very simple yet chic and glamorous just that little accent And there you have it. Here are all my three items ready. Uh, apart from touching them, they look great. I'm really happy how they turned out. And this Lotus candle holder is really, really cute one. I like it a lot. So, if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye!